Hey family, it is me. Come on and start your day and let's get ready with me. Yes, yes, yes. This is how I look in the morning. Surprise. Hey, but I got my hair. I'm using Maybelline Fit in number 330 as a foundation. I've been using this foundation for about a year. Um, so I just put a little bit on the back of my hand. And the brushes that I'm using are called BS Small. Um, and I use a round face brush. I got these brushes off of Amazon. Really, really cheap. And I love these brushes. They are probably, I don't know, $10, $12, something like that. But I'm telling you, for the price, they are a really, really nice brush. And they feel really good on my face. And I like the size of them. You see how chunky they are? So right now I'm just blending that Maybelline Fit all over my face and I like this shade on me because it, it really matches my skin tone really, really well. Um, and it seems to be a pretty popular shade too because sometimes they are sold out of this 330. So I'm continuing to blend in and I need to get my eyebrows threaded so I had to work with my eyebrows a little bit before I started to record. So just making sure it's blended in really well. And next I have the Maybelline, <coughs> excuse me, Fit 240. I had bought this shade because once winter started, <coughs> I thought that it may have matched my skin a little better. Wrong. So how am I using it? I'm using it, I'm going to use it as a highlighter. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm using my um, tip BS Small brush and I'm just going to put it under my eyes, on my nose, on my chin and just a little bit on my forehead and I'm just going to blend it in really well. Try not to get it in my eyes like I've done in the past and just blend, blend, blend. <laughs> Now let me just say this, as I'm showing you guys how I put my makeup on, this is how I apply my makeup every day. Every day. And now I'm just using my foundation brush again and just blending it all in so that you don't see any lines from where um, the two shades stop. Okay. Okay, just blending it in really well. And next, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Powder in number 330. And I'm just going to apply this um, on certain areas of my face. And I'm putting it on very lightly because I don't like to look too, too false. And this is my Sigma brush and number, it's my large powder brush. This is my F30 brush. Just blend it in. Now I'm using a dark black radiance um, eyeshadow palette. It's called Eye Appeal. I received this palette in my Coco Teak box um, in the month of January. Um, so this is the first time that I will be using this palette. So let's see how it looks. So I'm going to start off <coughs> using a lid um, color. Um, I don't know what color it is, but let's see how well it works. I like it. I like it. I like the way it blends. I love the color to it. It's a real pretty base coat. Right. Nice. Okay. Okay, Black Radiance. I'll see you. Okay, now I am going to use that green in my crease of the eye. And let me find a brush. What brush am I using? Yes, this is my e.l.f. Um, brush. And I'm just going to use that. Just go right in the crease. 
And I gotta give it up for Elf. Elf has some really nice brushes, and I see a lot of people on YouTube do have a few Elf brushes in their stash. So hey, I'm not mad at you. I think that brush is what a dollar. <laughs> yeah, you can get them anywhere. So that's what I'm using to apply my crease color. Blend it in with my fingertip. Just blend and try and be very gentle around your eyes, okay? Okay, next I'm going to use an accent color just in the corner of my eye. And I'm using that BS Angle Brush. It's called a BS Small Angle Brush. And I'm just using that to apply that shade to my um, outer corner of my eye. I like makeup, but I don't want to look too, too made up every day. I mean, so this is, this is a very kind of neutral color um, for the winter. And I really, really like the way this is looking. Now I'm trying to decide on which of the light shades that I'm going to put on my brow bone. So, any, mini, mighty, mo. Hmm, let's see. Okay. Sorry, I didn't get it in the, in the picture. So I'm picking the lighter shade. Just right on that brow bone. Very lightly. Very, very lightly. Get it on there. Now I'm just using, this is a L'Oreal brush, I'm sorry, yeah, no, I'm sorry, a Lancome brush. And I'm just using that just to blend everything in so it looks seamless. And using my fingers just a little bit, okay, done with the eyeshadow. What's next? Okay, now what I'm going to use for my eyeliner is the L'Oreal, I'm sorry, L'Oreal Carbon Black Eyeliner. eyeliner. I'm getting a little tongue tied. I've been using this eyeliner for years. I like it because it is actually a brush. It is not a felt tip um, liner. It's a actually a brush. And it just glides on real seamless. And I like this eyeliner because it doesn't run. It stays with you all day. However, when you um, go to wash it off at night, I just use my eye makeup remover. And it comes right on off. I love it. So I have this color in um, carbon black, black, and a brown. And I don't know how to do all that wing stuff that ladies be doing. So can somebody show me please? Because I would really love how to do that. Now this is just a Lancome black eyeliner pencil. And I don't use eyeliner pencil every day on my lower lid. I just don't because sometimes that does run and I don't you know I have problems with um, dark circles so I don't use too much of that under my eyes the mascara I'm using is called sumptuous um, it came in a gift pack I think from Estee Lauder I think yeah it's called sumptuous It's bold volume a lifting mascara so that is what I'm using today as my mascara Trying not to poke myself in the eye. And I just want my lashes to look, you know, look kind of natural. Some days I'll use a different mascara, especially if I'm going out or something in the evening. But this for today, this is gonna look look nice enough. Let's see, what do I need next? What do I need next? 
Hmm. I must have misplaced it. Ah, my blush. And I'm sorry I did not hold it up to you. But what I'm using is Black Radiance. Um, the Artisan Color Baked Blush in color Toasted Almond. And that number is 830. And I must have got a little mascara on my face. I'm just trying to get that off. Oh, she is smeared. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little bit more highlighter up under my eye. Let's see. Sorry I didn't hold it up, but what I'm using is the NYX Contour Palette. And I normally do this earlier, but I forgot. So I'm going a little backwards here. Just put that under my eyes. I, like I said, I do have under eye circles, so I do try to camouflage those eye circles. And I'm applying it just with an e.l.f. concealer brush. Now I'm going to go ahead and blend that in with a BS Small um, contour brush. Just blending that in really well. think that'd do. Okay. Oh well. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put a little bit more of that um, powder. That Fit 330 powder just under my eye to keep that um, concealer from creasing. Just a little bit. Okay. So I don't need any more blush. I'm good on that. I like having kind of a natural look every day. You know, of course my face is made up, but I like it to look pretty natural. And I want you to still know that it's me. Now what I'm using now is one of the Jordana um, lip liner pencils. This is in color Plush Plum. Plush Plum. I really, really like their um, lip liner pencils. And they are so affordable for everyone. I think these are what, $2 maybe? at your local Walgreens and they have a ton of colors to them. So now I'm trying to decide which lipstick to wear. Hmm. Because I've been on a lipstick kick lately. I have. And what I decided on today, sorry I did not hold it up. This is MAC. Um, color is Sin. This is one of my new colors, and I really, really, really like this color. I remember when I used to be afraid to wear dark colors on my lips because I have pretty full lips, and I was always self-conscious. But now, hey, people are paying money to get lips just to look just like mine, so I am celebrating my lips. Okay, now let's work on the hair a little bit. I've been pineappling at night lately, and it's been working pretty well. The back part of my hair is not long enough to fit into the pineapple, but that's okay. You just get a couple bobby pins, bam, you're done. Now, let's see. Mm, y'all see what I see? Did y'all see all that gray? Y'all didn't know I had all that gray, did you? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm using my one and only oil. Just using that um, to go through my hair. And just applying it, applying it, applying it. But I'm going to show y'all what I would do with that gray hair in just a moment. Just don't go nowhere. Just hold on. Hold on. I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix that. Now I'm just, uh, you know, just fluffing the hair out a little bit. Fluffing it out. Fluffing it out. Fluffing it out. And let's see. Yeah. Mama got a whole lot of gray going on. Y'all did not know that. Surprise. <laughs> yep. I think I've lost the bobby pin back there somewhere. I think, I think, I think, maybe, maybe. I think maybe I got it, I don't know. But yeah, the gray, yeah, it's not working for me today. So let me show you what I'm gonna do. Mm-hmm. Bam! A gray cover stick. <laughs> I just color it on in. My granny used to have one of those back in the day. Uh-huh, bam, see? There's a few places that I missed, but works enough for me. That's what I do in between color. 
I color my hair maybe three or four times a year. So thanks for watching. Bye.